Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. My name is Luis Ruiz, alongside Brendan Wolford. Today we have coverage of wrestling, boys and girls basketball, our Athlete of the Week, news on our bowling team, and results from the state swimming and diving meet. Let's get started. The wrestling team went to state last week and placed 12th overall, the best state result in ONW history. Taylor Jokers, Doug Newcomb, and Luke Middleton each placed 5th in their weight class. The girls basketball team found success against Olathe North last Friday. Here's the recap. The Lady Ravens celebrated senior night against Olathe North and all of them stepped up big time. The Ravens dominated the game from the first whistle and got the much deserved win, dismantling the Eagles 76-56. The Lady Ravens headed to Substate with momentum and look to beat Blue Valley Wednesday. For Game Bay Northwest, this has been Luis Ruiz. Now back to the studio. The Raven bowling team takes on state this weekend in Wichita. Wish them luck as they take on the state's best in bowling. Next, if you weren't there last Friday for the boys basketball game, which you should have been, we were there to capture all the action. Let's check it out. In the final contest of the season, the Ravens battled crosstown rival Lathan North on senior night. Northwest started off very strong in the first half, going on a 7-0 run to start the game. The Ravens went into halftime with a solid lead of 23-17. Olathe North fought back, opening up the scoring in the third quarter and limiting the Raven attack to only seven points. The Ravens tried to claw back into the game with several threes, but fell short to lose 58-48. ONW ended the season with a fifth seed in the sub-state tournament and will play at Gardner Edgerton tonight. This has been Brennan Wolford. Now, back to the studio. Game Day Northwest would like to take a moment to congratulate our swimming and diving success at State last week. Congratulations to Brant Pickaren and Josh Reed for placing second and third in the diving competition. Good job, guys. Next, we're going to take it to Connor Gertis for our Athlete of the Week, Charlie Holmgren. Being a sophomore on a varsity team has its challenges, but Charlie Holmgren gained support from his coach. Coach Grove has confidence in me, and I mean, it's... it's it makes me nervous, but like once the game starts playing and everything, it's, it's just the same game that I played. Not only is he a sophomore, but he has had problems with his knee in the past. I hurt my knee a while ago. I've, I've just had a bad knee and over summer basketball. I got hit on the inside of it and I had to get an MRI on it. And uh, I had contusions on the inside of my meniscus, so I just have a weak right knee. And if I use it too much or get it hit, then it, it's, uh, I definitely have to take care of it. But it's nothing big, so I, I, I can't use it as a crutch. I have to use it, and I can't use it to excuse. Um, I just, when I play, I have to, you know, no one knows that I have a bad knee, so I just have to play my best and not let that affect me or not let that make me play worse. Holmgren doesn't take the spotlight often, but he does whatever he can to support the team. And uh, I just I just do what I can, and if, if even if it's not scoring, I just try and get rebounds and go hard and hustle and do what I can to help us win. I try and um, help get them shot like Devin and uh, Jamon are our leading scores, and so Evan and Evan's going to shoot a bunch of threes. So I try and get Evan the ball and Devin the ball. Charlie hopes to finish the season strong and win sub-state. To uh, win our sub-state game and go as far as we can, and just to help the team and uh, try and finish the season strong. That's all we have for you this week, Ravens. Spring sports season is right around the corner. Prepare for new action. We wish the best of luck to all of you going through tryouts this week. For Brendan Wolford, I'm Luis Ruiz. Now back to the studio.